So look at this nice brisket. I got a 13 pounder. Hello, John here on the Oaky Smoking Channel. Now, when I cook brisket, I usually do not do much trimming. Yeah, I'll trim the edges, some of the hard fat. Uh, but today I'm trimming a lot more fat than what I normally do because I'm going to go ahead and keep this and we're going to cook it in the uh, smoker. We're going to put it in the Weber Smoky Mountain with the brisket and let it render down so that when we wrap it, uh, we're going to add that as our uh, juice inside when we wrap it. Also, I'm going to cut off the point because we're going to make some burnt ends. And if you look right here, you'll see that little fat line. I'll show you right here. See that little line right there? That's the fat line that separates the point and the flat. And I'm going to cut it right there. Look at that. And then that is going to be my uh, burnt ends. We're going to smoke both of these first and then uh, make some burnt ends out of this. And then look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful now? So I think now we just need to go ahead and season it up. First, just going to add some mustard on here. And I'm going to rub it all over. Just as a binding agent, uh, a lot of people don't use different methods, uh, just what I've always done. All I'm using is my homemade SPG all-purpose seasoning. It's salt, it's uh, sea salt. Actually, I believe this is kosher salt. I've made it a few different times. I think I got kosher salt on this one. Pepper, black pepper, garlic. There's a little bit of onion powder and cumin in here, as well as garlic powder. That's why it's not strictly SPG and it's SPG all-purpose seasoning is what I call it. And man, it's really good. So, don't have to get too fancy with this. That's all we're gonna add. I usually do add a couple of different seasonings, sometimes to spice it up, but not today. Going basic. So the temperature does have some work to do. We're at about 175 and what I did do here is I got water in here but I have a warm water uh, in there instead of cold water so it should heat up a little quicker because this is typically used for uh, slower cooks uh, we're gonna do a fast cook today so let's get this heated up let it heat up some more and uh, we'll get that brisket on took the top off because I'm also going to add a couple of hickories uh, in there to uh, help with the smoke flavor, maybe even one more. Actually, I have a partially burnt one from the last cook. I'm gonna add in here just a partially burnt one there and there. So we'll add that in. I'm gonna let that fire pick up just a little bit before I put it back on. So I think this will heat up a little quicker. So yeah, we got them on now, and uh, we'll be back when they get to about 170 degrees. Uh, we're gonna crank that on up to around 300 and cook them hot. The sensor I showed in there is showing a little cooler right now because it's right by the meat. Uh, I'm pretty confident I'll go ahead and get that kicked up and uh, be back here. I don't know how long it'll take, but uh, we're gonna cook it to 170 and wrap. And the point may get done sooner. So now that we've got that fat rendered up and we have the briskets to about 170 to 175 degrees internal, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the juice out of this and start adding it. I'm adding it to the brisket flat there and we're going to wrap it in some butcher paper. Help keep it moist. You can use beef broth. You can use whatever you want. If you don't render your own fat, that's fine. But uh, I also went ahead and put it on the point. And now we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up. And then there it is, put back on. And we're going to cook it to 205, 210 degrees. So here's the point of the brisket. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these up 
in cubes. This got done a couple hours sooner than the other brisket, which is still cooking. I'm about to take it off and rest it. This has actually been resting now for a couple of hours. I had it in a towel and a cooler. So I've never done this before, so hopefully see how this does. So we're going to cut this in cubes. And now that I've got these cut up, I mean, I do have to try. Mm -hmm. Pretty darn good. I'm going to place these, got that smoke flavor tip, in this little disposable pan here. All right, so now that we got them cut up in here, I'm just going to go ahead and flavor these. Got a, about a third cup of brown sugar and put in here and just kind of let that just cover them. Like I said, I've not done this before, but we're going to see how this goes. And I've got a stick of butter right here. I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. Let's go ahead and place these all on here. Then I've just got some uh, mild honey, or barbecue sauce. Get that on there real good. I'm just gonna really coat that in. How about a little a Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. And I think it will. Let's just add some honey. Gotta like honey. I know I do. Now I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the brisket off now. Um, it should be about done, and I'm just gonna put these back on for an hour or so, and then uh, let the brisket now rest. So uh, we'll be back with the brisket and the burnt ends uh, next. All right. So now we're back and we got the brisket here. We got the burnt ends that I cooked here as well. And we're going to go ahead and uh, slice into this. See how this does. Now, I said that this was going to be a fast cook. And it took about nine hours for this 13 pound brisket. So much faster than what I normally cook. But maybe not super fast. But let's go ahead and see here. Look at that. Let's go ahead and do, this rested for at least two hours. I had this in the cooler resting. Let's just see if this pulls apart. Whoa. Ooh, there, there is no pull. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Tastes good. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. Falls apart, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Like always ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> now here is the burn ends. Tell him to come back in here and try this. Jesus. Enough of that. Oh, I can't put that in the video. <laughs> Burn in. Cheers. Thank you. Burn in. That is like a 20 out of 20 compared to oh. actual prison. <laughs> yeah. That's actually really, really good. I'm jealous because I can't taste it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, see you in the next video.